Hi, my name is C.W. Kramer. I'm the chairman of the High Tech Advancement Camp that was being held about 70 miles northeast of Pittsburgh in July. What I'm holding in my hands is a mini Skybot robot. This was uh, printed on a Thingomatic printer. You can see there's a, a circuit board, there's an ultrasonic sensor, there's a couple of servos in it, there's a little circuitry, a pick chip, and it's fairly compact and it runs on AA batteries. What's very phenomenal about this product, uh, th this item that I printed, is this was done based on work of Juan Gonzalez at the University of Carlos III uh, in uh, Madrid, Spain, and all of the uh, technology that's in this is open source. I was able to download the files, download the Gerber files for the printed circuit board, get it fabricated, and actually construct this robot. And I don't have a lot of experience with electronics other than being able to uh, solder this together. So let me show you how this works. This is a fully programmable robot. You can do anything you want with it. Uh, you can program it with C. And it's got a behavior that's set up where it's going to come along and when it hits, comes to this box, it'll stop, and when we move the box away, it'll come, come forward, and when we push the box back, it'll back up. You can see it's fairly responsive. It's doing ranging. It's a neat toy. It's more than a toy. It's a learning device. And what's very fun about this is it not only was I able to uh, print it, but I'm able to program it and it's a real demonstration of the power of being able to de design something, put files out on the internet, and have people replicate it. If you want more information about this project, go to thingiverse.com and search for Mini Skybot. Or if you want to get more information, you can go to www.iearobotics.com and Dr. Juan Gonzalez and the rest of his team, uh, who, who were very helpful in answering questions about this, um, uh, have all the documentation. It's a neat thing. Um, we're going to take this up to a Boy Scout camp and have Boy Scouts assemble these and then make modifications. I really enjoyed making it. I hope you do too.